I made a tweet that said React is going to become WordPress. But what does that mean? So I got a lot of comments from this tweet, more than I expected. Some of my personal favorites, hot take, that's a great outcome. Is this supposed to be a bad thing? Powers over half the internet's websites and has half a trillion dollar economy around it? And WordPress has had incredible success. When did anyone say otherwise? Fair. I love that. Straight up just completely resolved the conversation. But what did I actually mean when I created this tweet to get so many people to react to it? Well, React burst onto the scene like a supernova, literally revolutionizing how we build our user interfaces with JavaScript. Just like how WordPress transformed blogging websites and other websites that use the WordPress plugin, React quickly found its way into every application that was built from 2013 when it was released till pretty much today, 10 years later. This enjoyment and this new way of building websites with React made it a substantial portion of powering websites all across the internet. Just like how WordPress powers 810 million websites, that's like 64.2% of CMS market share, which is crazy to this day, it's hard to argue the success both of these drastically different tools have had in the world of programming and in the world of website development. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the memes. Without going into details of the memes for WordPress, insert PHP meme, WordPress meme, I don't know, whatever meme you could find about WordPress, React slowly started developing some memes and people started to say, yet another React app. And you wanna hear something cool? React was released almost 10 years to the day when WordPress released. WordPress was released May 27th, 2003, while React was released May 29th, 2013. That's crazy, like seriously. And where am I going with all this? Well, I will never argue the success these two tools have had on the internet. That is something crazy. The adoption, how successful they are, their rich ecosystems. They have built the careers for so many different people, freelancers, professional developments. I mean, it's been insane to see the adoption of these tools. However, with the recent release of React, specifically React 18 and React Server Components, React has definitely changed. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, Theo, please. I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all. You see, the issue I see with React involving React over components is the more stuff you include into your framework and library, the more opportunities you give people to start memeing, making fun, and just looking for nits and things to poke and make fun of the tool itself. I love React, I love using React, but I probably will not use React server components. Not even arguing how great they are, but for me, that's how I look and see React. And with the overall rise in popularity of different JavaScript frameworks like Svelte or Vue or Ash or anything like that, I think the memes of React will continue to grow. I use Arch, by the way. Now, 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 WordPress and React are nothing alike, Melky, what are you even blabbering about right now? Well, people continue to meme on WordPress, but goddamn, you can't argue how successful WordPress is. Even to this day, 20 years later, you may not know about it, but there's a lot of people on the internet making a lot of money. Cue the Lambo, please. Who are making WordPress sites. I guess what I'm trying to say is that React will continue its market share adoption and continue to grow, but I think we'll see an uptick in memes and people just poking fun at different little nits of React, like you're not using React server components or you are using React server components or just generally, ew, you're still using React? It's inevitable. And React is 10 years old. That's like 200 years old in the world of JavaScript ecosystem tools. Everything is going to be based off of React, whether you're gonna take the good things and make them even better, or take the things React didn't do or did poorly and just capitalize on those and make whole new frameworks. React will always be at the core of JavaScript applications, no matter if you love React or hate it. But that shouldn't turn you off. If you wanna use React, use it. 
if you want to use all the features that react comes with use them if you don't great do what it is you want to do with whatever technologies you want to use because who cares memes are memes people are gonna bag on stuff people still use technologies built in the 1990s because it's so good and yes maybe they're outdated or archaic or old or whatever but they're still really good laugh at memes look at memes but don't fall for the memes. Don't fall into the trap. If you see a, a trend on Twitter that is canceling React, who cares? Ignore it, laugh, give it a like, engage in it, whatever it is. But if you want to use React, go ahead. Make it so that no matter what the technology people are making fun of, you are still doing what's right for you. WordPress and React are great technologies. You want to use them? Good. You don't? Who cares? I don't. Why should anyone else? And with that, I gotta leave you off with two things. One, what's your favorite feature of a React? Let me know in the comment section down below. And two, you gotta power it.